All right, my gold hungry friends, I am on my trip today to look at, for gold at Salmon Falls, where it crosses the South Fork of the American River. The area is very easily accessible. Matter of fact, I think this is the closest place to civilization. I will show you in the maps that uh, it's very easy to get to, and it's, uh, I don't know, it's a very enigmatic area. It's beautiful, it's easy to get to, it has some gold, and it's very frustrating. So we shall see. Here's a map shows Highway 50 and Folsom Lake, which ends in, in the upper right-hand corner is where the Salmon Falls is. This is a close-up of the map, and it's important to look at where the bridge is and looking to the right. Here's a closer-up picture. Everybody either pans around the bridge or off to the right. This is the actual satellite image, and you can see what's important is you can either pan at the bottom left or the bottom right, and the walk between the two is quite a challenge. If you had a boat, maybe a little kayak, it would be great. You could bypass it and get to the more distant right-hand area. But we're here for adventure, so adventure we will. Here's a shot when the water was really very, very low, height of the drought in 2003. 13, 2014, looking toward the lake. And here is that spot I was shooting, looking back up to the bridge. You can see the water is always getting much higher than this. Driving up to the Salmon Falls Bridge, you can see that uh, it's a good road. It comes right off of Eldorado Hills Boulevard, which comes right off of the freeway. My dedication to bringing this to you shows that I can drive on the wrong side of traffic with oncoming cars just to get you a good video. Glad he didn't hit me. I'm going to make the right-hand turn into this parking lot. Again, this couldn't be much easier to get to. I don't think there's an easier spot. Maybe the Coloma site, which we'll do at a later date, is about this easy. Parking is $10, as with all state parks. Walking down, you see the first site of the Skunk Hollow, is what it's called, where the American River is. This is looking up from Skunk Hollow toward the bridge. You can see all these tailings dumped over the years. I'm going to pan upstream. This is a very popular area. You can see people have worked this area hard, digging holes, moving rocks, doing all kinds of crazy things to find gold. And here is another look as I pan from where everybody initially can come in. This is where the rafts put in as they come down from the North Placerville area. Out in the middle there, there's a little bit of flow where you can set up a sluice. And so this is one of the unique areas in Skunk Hollow. There is light gold to be found here. And then as you move to this area, it's more recreational, very slow, deep water. And the real hard area to get to is up around that bend. Here's my sluice out in the middle of Skunk Hollow. Here's the walk to the hard part. That's Little Acorn Creek there. I do not believe that is a gold-bearing creek. I've tried to pan it once. But what, to get to the hard spot, you're going to walk along this good-looking path over the little creek. Then you walk along the side of the river. Still good path. Looks very promising. Looks are deceiving. A little farther along the line, we have uh, some bedrock deposits exposed. Good place to snipe for gold, and you can actually find some. But look at this, the trail as it goes on gets kind of rough as we move to that far right area. This is a test pan I did. This is the area I did it in. I would sniped out that uh, area. Um, no gold. And then we proceed, the rocks really get rough, the hiking gets fairly strenuous. Looking, that's from the last shot where I was, and I'm panning down the straight part of the river. You see these giant boulders which make passage very difficult. The water here is very hard to work, but the shore is not. And then the rapids up there are the end of that original picture I showed you to the right. You can see very tough passage. I guess that's fun, right? We're here for a challenge. There's a quartz band, which actually decays down this way. You can see the weathering of the quartz band. That's where the gold is to be found, my friends. 
looking again at these quartz bands, you can see that they've decomposed. My goal here was to work at the bottom of this decomposing quartz band to see if any washed down. So here I'm working solely with a pan, no sluice, and you can see a little bit of material, very dark material there between the rocks. That is what I panned out looking for the gold, and that's some more of the weathered granite. This is what I got from my day's work. It doesn't look like much, but hey, it was fun. Skunk Hollow at Salmon Fall Bridge, very enigmatic. Um, it's always easy to get to and fun. Um, it's worth doing, but you're never going to get rich.